This happened a few months back, and I swear it still gives me the creeps when I think about it. I was at Walmart late one evening just trying to pick up some groceries after a long day at work. You know how it is. Walmart's pretty much the only place open at that hour. And I just needed some essentials before heading home. I'm walking through the almost deserted aisles, and it's unusually quiet, like eerily quiet. The usual buzz of people chatting, kids crying, or the intercom going off was somehow missing. It was just the low hum of the overhead lights and the distant sound of someone restocking in another aisle. So there I am, turning into the cereal aisle, and I see this guy at the other end. He's just standing there, staring at the cereals without moving. I didn't think much of it at first. Maybe he was just tired or couldn't decide what to buy, right? But as I got closer, something about him felt off. He was dressed in a simple shirt and jeans, but his clothes looked kind of worn out and his hair was a mess. Still, I brushed it off. Bad day, perhaps. I reach out to grab a box of cereal, and suddenly he turns his head slowly and looks straight at me. His eyes were... I don't know how to explain it. They were intense, and not in a good way. I gave him a small smile and a nod, trying to be polite, but he just kept staring. Didn't blink. Didn't smile back. Nothing. Just staring. Feeling uneasy, I quickly grabbed another box of something I didn't even like and moved to the next aisle, hoping to shake off the creepy feeling. But here's where it gets really weird. I start noticing him in every single aisle I go to. I'd be picking up milk, and there he was at the other end of the dairy section, still staring. I try to lose him in the beauty section, and he's there again, lurking by the shampoos. By this time, I'm genuinely freaked out. I decide to ditch my cart and head straight to the checkout. I'm standing in line, and I take a quick glance around, and I don't see him. Relief washes over me thinking maybe I was just imagining things or overreacting. But no, just as I'm paying, I see him again, this time right behind me in line. No groceries, just standing there. I rushed out of there so fast after paying, you wouldn't believe. Got into my car, locked the doors, and just drove off without looking back. The whole drive home, I kept checking my mirrors to make sure I wasn't being followed. I didn't go back to that Walmart for weeks, and even now, I make sure I'm never there too late. What still haunts me is wondering what he wanted. Was he just a lonely, creepy guy or something more? I guess I'll never know, and part of me is okay with that. But man, every time I think about it, it just sends shivers down my spine. My story happened last year, and honestly, it still freaks me out when I think about it. I had been pulling a lot of late nights at work, trying to get ahead of some deadlines. So by the time Friday rolled around, my fridge was pretty much empty. I decided to hit up Walmart after work to stock up for the weekend. And it was already around 10 p.m. by the time I got there. The parking lot was more packed than I expected for that hour, which was a relief because it meant there were still plenty of people around. I grabbed a cart and started making my way through my shopping list. Food, some cleaning supplies, and I needed a new pair of headphones too. As I was walking down the electronics aisle, I noticed this guy, mid-thirties, scruffy, wearing a hoodie, kind of lingering around the cell phone accessories. He wasn't really looking at anything, just kind of pacing back and forth. I didn't think much of it at first. Maybe he was just deciding on something or waiting for someone. After grabbing the headphones, I headed to the food section. This is where things started to get weird. I kept seeing the same guy from the electronics aisle. At first, I thought it was a coincidence, but after the fourth or fifth time, I realized he was following me. Every aisle I went to, he would show up a minute or two later. By the time I got to the frozen foods, I was genuinely scared. 
I tried to lose him by quickly ducking into another aisle or doubling back, but he was always there, keeping his distance but always within sight. My heart was racing, and I didn't want to confront him directly, because honestly, who knows what someone might do. So I decided to head to the front of the store, hoping I could alert an employee or security. But as I turned towards the front, I saw him suddenly start walking briskly towards me. Panic set in, and instead of heading to the checkout, I turned and made my way towards the back of the store, where the gardening supplies are. It's less crowded, and I thought I could lose him there. I was wrong. It was deserted, and now I was in a worse situation, isolated with this guy still following me. I grabbed my phone and tried to make a call to a friend just to have someone on the line, but my signal was frustratingly weak. That's when I heard him finally speak, his voice low and menacing. Hey, don't make this hard. Just give me your purse and you can go. My mind was racing. I was scared, alone, and now facing what looked like a mugging or worse. But instead of giving in, I yelled for help as loud as I could and started to run towards the front of the store again. He was quick, though, and caught up to me grabbing my arm. I've never been so terrified in my life. Just then, a couple of guys from the hardware section turned the corner, probably coming to check on the noise. Seeing them, the guy let go of me and took off running towards the back of the store. The guys asked if I was okay and stayed with me as we found a manager and called the police. The police arrived quickly, and after describing the guy and showing them the area where he'd confronted me, they started to search the store. They found him trying to exit through an employee-only area, apparently with some stolen items in his possession. I gave a statement, and they told me he was wanted for a series of thefts in the area. It was a huge relief to see him taken away by the police, but the whole experience left me shaken. I couldn't shake the feeling of vulnerability knowing how quickly a simple shopping trip turned dangerous. Now, I only shop during busy hours or with friends, and I'm much more aware of my surroundings. This happened to me last year, and honestly, it was one of those experiences that really makes you reconsider where you shop. And when. I usually hit up Walmart in the evenings because it's less crowded, and I can take my time. One night, though, I ended up going way later than usual, around midnight, because I'd been busy all day and needed some stuff before the next morning. I'm in Walmart, and it's nearly deserted, which I expected. I head straight to the toiletries aisle to pick up some shampoo and other stuff. As I'm browsing, I hear what sounds like someone whispering. It's soft, barely audible. I look around thinking maybe someone's on their phone or something, but the aisle is empty except for me. The whispering stops, so I shrug it off as my imagination and continue shopping. Next, I go to the frozen foods, and I'm trying to decide between pizzas when I hear the whispering again. This time, it's a bit louder, like it's right behind me. I whip around, heart racing, but again, nobody's there. Now, I'm really on edge, thinking maybe someone's messing with me or I'm just super tired and hearing things. Trying to shake off the creepy feeling, I grab the pizza and head to the snacks aisle. As I'm looking at some chips, the whispering starts up again, and this time I can almost make out words. It sounds like someone saying, don't go. Chills run down my spine, and I snap my head up, and that's when I see him. A guy at the end of the aisle, partially hidden behind one of those cardboard displays. He's just staring at me, not moving, not shopping, just staring. This freaks me out completely, so I ditch the cart and decide I'm done for the night. I start heading towards the front, checking over my shoulder every few seconds. The guy is following me, keeping his distance, but definitely following. Every time I speed up, he speeds up. When I slow down, he slows down. I get to the self-checkout, and there's one other person there, thankfully. I scan my items as fast as I can, 
glancing back to see that the guy is standing at the entrance of the checkout area, just watching. As soon as I grab my bags, I head straight to the security guard near the door, tell him there's someone acting really weird and following me around. The guard looks concerned and walks me to my car, which I was grateful for. I didn't see the guy again after that, but the whole drive home, I kept looking in my rearview mirror, terrified he might be following me in another car. I don't know what was going on with that guy, whether it was a prank or if he had bad intentions, but it was one of the scariest nights of my life. Safe to say I avoid late night shopping now and definitely keep my ears open for any whispering. Last winter, I had one of the most unsettling experiences of my life, and it all happened during a late night trip to Walmart. I had just moved to a new town for a job, and I was still getting used to the area. The closest store to my apartment was a Walmart, and since I was still unpacking, I found myself needing a few essentials late one evening. It was around 11 p.m. when I got there, which I figured would be fine. It's Walmart, right? Open 24 sevenths. The parking lot was nearly empty, which was a relief in a way because I could park close to the entrance. It was freezing out, and I didn't want to be walking too far in the cold. I grabbed a cart and made my way inside, making a mental note of the few things I needed so I could make it quick. As I was walking through the home goods section, I heard a commotion coming from a couple of aisles over. It sounded like shouting but I couldn't make out the words. Curiosity got the better of me, and I headed towards the noise, thinking maybe someone needed help. When I turned into the aisle, I saw two men arguing loudly. One was clearly a Walmart employee, based on his vest. The other was a customer, and he was really getting in the employee's face, poking his chest and shouting. The employee was trying to calm the customer down, but it wasn't working. Feeling like I should do something, I approached them slowly, asking if everything was okay. Big mistake. The customer turned on me, yelling about how it was none of my business and to stay out of it. The employee took the chance to slip away, probably to call for security. Now the guy's anger was directed at me and he was getting closer. Trying to defuse the situation, I started backing away, apologizing for intruding. But he wasn't having it. He seemed drunk or high. His eyes were wild, and his speech was slurred. He kept coming at me, backing me into a corner. I was genuinely scared now, not sure if he was just going to yell or if he was going to get violent. Just then, another customer, a pretty big guy, saw what was happening and came over. He stepped in between us, telling the angry guy to cool off and leave me alone. The angry guy tried to push past him, but the big guy didn't budge. They exchanged some heated words, and then finally, security arrived. They managed to escort the angry customer out of the store, and the big guy made sure I was okay before I thanked him, and he went back to his shopping. Shaken, I quickly grabbed the few things I needed and headed to the checkout, my heart still racing. The whole experience made me incredibly wary of shopping late at night. I was thankful for the people who stepped in to help. This is a reminder that not every situation is safe, even in a place as mundane as Walmart. This happened just a couple of months ago. I had gone to Walmart for a late night shopping trip because I needed to pick up some things for a last minute project. I'm not a fan of going to stores late at night, but this was urgent. I got there around 11 p.m. and the place was pretty empty, which I expected. As I was walking through the arts and crafts section, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. Every so often, I'd glance around, but I didn't see anyone nearby. Chalking it up to the late hour and my nerves, I tried to focus on finding what I needed. I found myself needing some help finding a specific type of glue, so I started looking for an employee. That's when I noticed someone at the end of the aisle. He was an older man, wearing a Walmart vest, so I approached him for help. 
but as I got closer, he seemed off. His uniform was dirty, and he was muttering to himself. Unnerved, but still needing help, I called out. Excuse me, could you help me find something? He didn't respond, just kept muttering and started walking away. Confused, I followed, asking again for help. He led me through a couple of aisles, still muttering, until we were in a part of the store that was under renovation and not lit very well. It was isolated, and that's when it hit me. I hadn't seen any other employees or even heard the usual Walmart music for a while. It suddenly felt like we were completely cut off from the rest of the store. I stopped and asked him directly, Where are we going? He finally stopped, turned around, and looked at me with a blank expression, then just walked away without saying a word. At this point, I was seriously freaked out. I quickly made my way back to the brighter, more populated parts of the store constantly looking over my shoulder to make sure he wasn't following me. Once I was back in a well-lit area, I found another employee and asked about the man. The employee looked confused and told me that no one matching that description worked there, especially not that late at night. I left my cart right there, walked straight out of the store and haven't been back to that Walmart since. The whole experience left me shaken wondering who he was and what might have happened if I'd followed him any further. Now I make sure to do my shopping during the day or just order things online. The idea of running into him again or anyone like him just gives me the creeps. Thank you for watching. If you found these stories gripping, don't forget to subscribe for more spine-tingling content. For another hair-raising tale, check out our suggested video. And if you're hungry for more eerie encounters, dive into our playlist featuring similar chilling narratives.